Hello, lovely. How are you doing? This is Yasmin from Tiny Time Big Results. Do you think you look desperate when you're marketing, right? This is the question that I want to address today. If you have any weird feelings about marketing, maybe you think it makes you look desperate, um, that you're, you haven't got enough clients, that you really need the money. And, you know, basically you're feeling really unsure of yourself because you are marketing. I want to really address this issue today because I hear this quite regularly. You know, what will people think of me when I am marketing? What will people think of me if I say that I've got two spots open for my one-to-one -one coaching? What will people think of me when I put out an offer or maybe a week of offers? What will people think of me? And I really do feel like, I really do feel like that this is a big issue for people because you're so worried about what other people are thinking of you that you are letting that stop you, right? You're letting that stop you from actually sharing all the amazing value that you have to share. So let's use a really obvious example, right? Let's think about the big brand names like Coca-Cola, Nike, um, oh God, Starbucks. You think of any of the big names, Apple, um, oh my God, all the big names, right? You think of all of those big names and you know what they do regularly? They market. They tell you about their offers. They tell you about their products. They tell you about new innovations, whatever that might look like, whether it's a new type of a coffee or a new phone, right? They're always marketing. Coca-Cola don't just sit there going, well, everybody knows who we are. We don't need to tell anybody about who we are. No, they don't. They spend an absolute fortune in making sure that when you're thinking of a good time with your friends and you're enjoying lovely, yummy food, that you're cracking open a bottle of Coke at the same time, right? Because you think about all the Coke adverts. Now, this is not an advert for Coke and I, I'm not paid by Coke to do this, but I'm just thinking of like a really classic example, a company that has been around for such a long time and yet they still market. You still see them, you know, and it's such a visceral experience. You know, when you... Um, you know, when they like flicker open the bottle top and then they're pouring it over ice and all the cracking sounds. It's a real experience. But hold on a minute. You think it makes you look desperate when you're marketing. You think it makes you look needy and clingy when you say that you've got a, an opening in your practice. My lovely, right? We have got to get over this. You have got to get over this, right? If you, um, you know, follow me on social media, you know, I market pretty consistently, pretty regularly. I tell you what I'm doing. I tell you about my offers. I tell you if I've got spots in my one-to-one -one coaching. I do have spots for my one-to-one -one coaching right now. I have two spots open for the free range messenger program, which is pretty much the way that it sounds. It's a very chill vibe with my program. And it's because I want to help you turn into an absolute amazing marketer but it is a very very chill way you're going to just feel so relaxed and comfortable with marketing you're not going to be worried about whether you look desperate or clingy or needy or any of those things because you know that what you have is of service selling is a high service it's of high service right and every time you stop marketing your offers your mission, your story, um, why you do what you do, and the feeling that someone's going to get from working with you and the results that they're going to get from working with you. Every time you don't do that, you are doing your people a disservice. You are doing yourself a disservice because marketing means that the sales will follow and that brings the money into your business. And, you know, let's Call a spade a spade. We need money in this world to feed ourselves, to clothe ourselves, to, you know, put a roof over our heads, right? And everybody needs money, right? 
So stop being afraid of that and just say, yeah, actually, you know what? I have a business. I have income goals. These are some of the things that I need to pay for. And you know how I get that money is I provide something of massive value, right? When you go and do your weekly shop, there's no weirdness when you fill your trolley full of all that yummy, gorgeous, fresh food and bread and vegetables and fruits and cereals and whatever else that you might be getting. You don't get to the till and go, oh, my God, oh, this is going to be so awkward. She's going to ask me for money now. No, I used to work on the checkouts when I was a teenager. And there was never any weirdness about saying that'll be 100 pounds or 100 euro. Never. Because there was a value exchange and you could see it. It was a trolley full of food, right? And the reason why I feel so passionately about this, and I really hope that you're getting this message straight from my heart, is that unless you market and tell people what it is that you do and how you can help them, then they are not going to know. And they're going to go to the person who is marketing, right? And the thing is, and this is what I see as well, is that a lot of business owners, they get a, you know good results, they get some clients, and then they go, great. And then do you know what they do? They stop marketing. Please don't be that person. Don't be that person, because do you know what happens? The clients, they finish up with you, and then you're sitting there going, oh, I should have been marketing. Because if you want clients in six months' time, you need to be marketing now. If you don't have clients now, it's because you weren't marketing six months ago. Right. Marketing is an ongoing activity. And that's one of the things that I love doing in the free range messenger program is to helping you get into that rhythm. Right. Creating a system and a process so that you're you are showing up consistently. Right. And not in a consistently like, oh, I'm showing up at 11 o'clock every day. But you're showing up consistently in the content that you're creating, the way that you're making your offers. All of this stuff can be systematized very, very easily. And you can really, and for me, that's what it is. It's about creating a marketing system that you literally just keep cranking every week. And the beauty of this, you know, with my chill vibe of the free range messenger program, which is really what I want to get through to you to, in order for you to see the possibilities is that that cranking of the machine doesn't take up a huge amount of your time at all. In fact, what I say is with the free range messenger program is that you are going to get like 10 hours back every week. Because you know what, right now you're probably consuming a lot of content that's not yours and it's taking up a lot of your time. Like you get stuck in doom scrolling. You're watching what everybody else is doing. And then what happens is your mind becomes like overloaded with all of that. And what that means is it really dilutes your voice. It dilutes your message. So it's really about becoming very strong and very grounded in who you are, what you do, how you help people and how you invite them to come and work with you. And that literally is all that marketing and sales is. And you can get all like, oh, my God, I'm, I'm all confused about this. But no, it's not. It's tell them what they do. Oh, tell, sorry, tell them what you do and invite them to come and work with you. If you'd like to know more about the free range messenger program, for example, then you can send me a message. You can send me an email at support at yasminboraji.com or you can connect with me on social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, right? It's, that's literally it. If you're sitting there going, God, I would love to have a marketing system that I could get set up and, you know, it's going to save me at least 10 hours every week and I'm going to be able to do marketing in a way that feels really organic, really beautiful, really natural, like an extension of who you are, this is the program for you, right? And I'm sharing that with you to show you that marketing and selling is a, it's a lovely way of just sharing what it is that you do. And remember, let's look at the flip side. If you don't do that, then people are going to be like, well, I don't really know what she does. Is she for me? Well, I don't know. I don't know what she does, Right. So this is what I really want you to, I, I really want to kind of get this message across to you today. Is you're not looking desperate when you're saying that I've got space for clients or that, you know, you're clingy and needy and, you know, like, oh my God, there she goes again. You are not, right? You are being of service. When you market and sell, you're being of service. Now, if somebody doesn't like it, 
they don't want to buy your thing, that's okay. That's not your person, right? But the person who really resonates with you and they love what you say and do and they want to be in your energy, then they're going to come, right? But you've got to show up. It's, I always imagine like, you know, when you're talking to the universe and to God and God's always like, okay, if you take a couple of steps towards me, I'm going to take a thousand steps towards you. And that's really what marketing and selling is all about. It's like your people are there waiting, but if you don't ever make that first step or that second and third step, it's not even like I'm asking you to do 10 steps, just one, two, three steps, then those people are going to be magnetized to you, right? But you've got to show up. And if you want to sell your program, sell your courses, all of those things, you have got to show up. Because if you could suddenly go, oh, I've got a program now, or I've got a course, or and you, but you've not been growing your audience, you haven't been building an email list, then what happens is that all makes it very difficult. And then you get disheartened because you go, oh, nobody bought my thing, right? But this is where marketing comes into play. And we've got to find a way that makes that makes marketing really beautiful for us. Like it just feels like, oh, this is just what I got to do. And I sit down to my desk and I go, okay, this is what I'm doing today right? And it just becomes an extension of what we do. And it just becomes part and parcel of what we do, right? So no, to answer that original question, you don't look desperate. That's exactly what you need to be doing is inviting people to come and work with you. That's all it is. And if you get rid of all of that weirdness around it, you will see that actually you're being of high service. I hope this has served you today. If you want to know more about working with me, um, or you want to find out more about the free uh, range messenger program, then send me a message. I would love to hear from you. Take care and have a great day and get out there and market. All right.